Alright, we're back again. Sorry about that, guys. I guess Fraps likes it just to be, you know, a jerk. When I need it to not be a jerk. And, uh, alright. Look at that terrible... I don't even know what's going on right now. Whatever. But, I don't know why that clam fear was just standing there. It was kind of odd. That never usually happens. Um, here we have a Daedric Ruin. Uh, probably the first one you would encounter if you didn't randomly explore on your own. So I mean, it's right next to the camp, and uh, it's right there. So, I mean, if you want to go in, you can. I don't feel confident in my abilities, so I am not going to go inside of that place at all, because we'll probably get steamrolled. And <laughs> I've had enough deaths for a while, so I'd like to retain some dignity of feeling accomplished, just for a little while. Uh, but yes, we are in the Ashlands, and it is very dead here. No grass. No, no like, green grass, at least. Uh, one of you assholes. But... Oh, two of you assholes. Is there a third one somewhere? It's usually the case. Let's take care of these guys. Uh, you know what? While he's kicking their asses, uh, that is actually a Dwim Ruin behind the, uh, the Daedric Shrine, which is pretty cool. And basically, you can, uh, you know, go in there just like any other place. Usually find some good loot, and he just kicked their asses. I love you. Wait, are there two of them, or is this one big one? I think it's two of them, actually. Never mind. Wow, I just noticed that. Hmm. It's interesting. Uh, but yeah, you can go in them. We'll probably go in them eventually. We'll explore this stuff when I feel a little more confident in my abilities. So definitely. Keep that in mind. We will come back here, guys, and we will tackle the stuff head on. I just like to kind of sometimes watch the battles unfold. Hmm. Big guy gonna win? Little girl gonna win? Uh huh. Okay, that was supposed to happen. Uh, Atronox. Very. They're actually very powerful for um, their what they are, because basically they're like the, uh, the elemental beings of the, uh, Oblivion and the elemental Daedra. So, you know, they, you know, harness the elements and they're pretty good against a lot of other things. They're resistant to magic and stuff and all this other cool stuff. I love the Atronachs. They're probably my favorite Daedric summonings you can do. But, enough rambling, jibber-jabbering, FPS issues. We are here at the Urshalaku camp to see Sewell Matul. Sewell Matul. What do you guys say? Uh, hello. I need to talk to uh, Urshalaku camp. This is it. Duh. They're in prophecies. Uh, I am not surprised you are ignorant, Outlander. And it is not my job to teach you. Thanks, jerk. We'll try for the prophecies. Okay. Okay. So basically, we need to go and talk to. Uh, we have to go meet Suomo Tool. But because we are outsiders of the camp, everyone's just like, you know, you're an outlander. Get the hell out of here. No one likes you. Uh, if you go see Suomo Tool right now, he'll just rage at you and be like, get the hell out of my tents. You suck. Etc. Talk. Uh, you're an outlander, and Sumo Tool is our chief. It will not speak to you. Okay, let's try it. Just saying yes. Nothing. Okay, Nervian prophecies. Okay, so basically she's just a, a jerk. Hormph. <laughs> Hormph. And Who are you? bribery is to take so place good. here. Go ahead. That Please should do it. 70 me. is usually the lucky number here. Um. Oh. Well, I just flip-flopped. And, and we lost some gold, but you know what? I'm, I'm cool with it. You Keep the change. I'll get some more of it. We need to talk to uh, this guy here. I was confused here. There's so many yurts to go in and be able to talk to. You are a jerk. 
prophecies. Watch the tool. Um, who are you that we should trust you? I am a great hero. Um, basically, you can just try to use one of these to get through. But I think you just do this, and he'll be like, "You have courage in your yep, courage in your heart. I would regret killing you. I regret even more should you kill me." Uh, sadly, I can't kill you because you're essential. I can knock you unconscious. So you have you doing that fight. So we have been uh, allowed to see Sumo Tool. I believe he is in here. He's the ash can of the Urshlaku camp. So we can mosey on in here and look at what you. Sumo Tool, what is up, buddy? Nerving prophecies. Uh, these things are you think are full of prophecies. We just said I was the Nerverine. Uh, no Outlander may join the Nerverine cult. So we can't join the cult because we're an Outlander. But if we were a clan friend to the Ashlanders, then we might be able to fulfill them. So basically, he wants us to pretty much bypass the system and become a clan friend by doing a uh, a trial for him. Go to the Urshlaku Burial Caverns and fetch me Sul Senupul's Bone Biter. What the hell's up with Sul, like these weird names? Oh, all right. So basically, we have to go and fetch him a bow. Now, I remember this quest in Morwind, and it was pretty annoying in the sense of it's a pretty big cave that we're going to. Uh, I'm not too concerned about dying too much because we have Big Bad Storm Atronach here. Shouldn't name him. You know what? We're naming him George. It's a pretty fitting name, I think. So we have we have George with us. He's pretty OP. You know, he killed those cliff racers pretty fast. And I'm pretty sure what he killed that uh, Flame Atronach, but his time ran out. But it's a pretty big cave, and I remember getting stuck here because, not because I got lost, but because of the jumping. Um, my uh, my character was pretty bad at acrobatics, and he would just get stuck everywhere because he could not jump high enough or over the rocks, and it was annoying. And why does it sound like a bunch of zombies? I'm be out of that. It's kind of shady and weird. So it's kind of it's a big cave. It'll be fun though. Some skeletons, uh, maybe some ghosts. I don't know. We'll find out. I think it's right there, actually. Yes, it is. You would think it's pretty small, but what dungeon in this game is pretty small, except for like not important ones or just beginning ones, at that matter. Go in, and we have this really. Um, I'm pretty sure those are not the right textures at all. It looks kind of fitting, but I'm pretty sure that's not right at all, but we walk down, and look at that stupid rat, and I kill it. Probably missed it, right? I hit it? I one-hit it? Oh, man. Whoa! Yay! Alright, that made me feel good about myself. Okay. Skeleton. Meet George. George Skeleton. Yeah, you made George angry. Boom. Whoa, he just like teleported. Oh, a skeleton champion. Skeleton champion? Didn't see that coming. Uh, wow. All right, that was interesting. Kind of got hurt right there. I just like to talk about that. There are there are different kind of skeletons in Oblivion. You have the standard scrub skeleton, then you have the I believe the guardian, then the hero, and the champion. These are champions which are not very fun to mess with, because they are actually pretty damn strong. They're the strongest skeletons in the game. Um, so, be a little careful around them. They use two-handed weapons. I think they can use bows as well, but their preference, I think, are two-handed weapons, and they're pretty strong, so just be careful. Uh, okay, so you have to get to that door, and you think to jump over there, which I probably could make it with a decent acrobatics, if not right now, but you're actually supposed to just kind of... I don't know if you're supposed to do this, but kind of just go over here, and, uh... I just jump down the side right here. And there you go. And you can fall in the water and climb back up. But here we are. In this place. Don't know what we're doing here right now. Well, I don't know what we're doing, but... Ah, uh, Restoration Journeyman level, thank you. Restoration takes forever to get up in this game. Might just be me, but... We need to get better armor. Holy crap. Okay, yeah, we need to use the Atronach a little more. I didn't mean to do that twice. 
Yeah, the Stormwatch takes a, a, a lot of uh, Magicka to summon. So, it's pretty important to have a lot of uh, magic when you're using high level summons like that. So, you don't have to completely waste your uh, your Magicka pool. So it sucks if that happens. Come on, kill him. Stupid jerk. There you go. Alright. That was bad. It was close. No, okay, I remember. So basically, it's just like a giant, kind of like a maze in a sense. Uh, you can get lost, but it's not meant to make you get lost. There's a lot of rooms, a lot of hallways, and ramps to go up and down, and left and right, and loop de loop, and whatever kind of direction you can go in. Can I just use this on you? It doesn't do squat, but destruction levels. Uh, I know where to go in this place, so it won't get lost. I don't think we will. I've been I've been pretty l wrong a lot so far in this let's play. So, in all honesty, you probably shouldn't even like trust my judgment yet until I kind of redeem myself here. Cause I think I've gotten lost in every single part, which is kind of embarrassing. But it just goes to show that I haven't played this game in a while, and I don't want to just read up on the game and make it like a walkthrough, because, I mean, walkthroughs, are, they can be fun, but I don't like really informing too much and et cetera about that kind of stuff, so we're just gonna get lost a little bit and enjoy, explore, level up, talk, all the fun stuff. Uh, now, okay, now there is a dead body over here. I don't think it has anything good on him, though. Might have some money, maybe? Some armor at, at much. An iron spark blade that isn't worth anything. A bent probe that's worth money, though. Yeah, I thought I had money on him, but I guess not. 